Seduce and Destroy. This is Chad. Can I get your home phone number with the area code first, please? Hi. Hello. Great. Uh, this is Seduce and Destroy? Yes, it is. Can I get your home phone number? Oh, well, I don't want to order anything. You see, I have a situation. A, a situation's come up, and I don't really know who to talk to or, or what I should do about this, but um, could you maybe put me in touch with the right person if I'm able to explain myself? Yeah, I'm sorry. We're really only equipped to, to take orders here. Well, can you, can you connect me to somebody else? What's, what's your situation? Well, okay. Let me see how I can explain this without you seeming kind of crazy, but uh, here I go. Uh, my, name, my name is Phil Parma, and uh, I work for a man named Earl Partridge. Mr. Earl Partridge. I'm his nurse, and uh, well, he's a very sick man. He, he's a dying man. He's sick, and he, he asked me to help him, to help him find his son. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, Hello? I, I'm here. I'm, I'm listening. Okay. See, Frank T.J. Mackey is Earl Partridge's son. So why don't they have the same last name? Because they don't have the same last name. I know, and I can't really explain that, but I have a feeling that uh, it has something to do with uh, some situation between them, like like they don't know each other well or much, or something like they don't talk much anymore. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Does this sound weird? No, I, I just don't know why you're calling me. Well, I don't have the number for Frank in any of Earl's stuff, and uh, he, he's pretty out of it right now. And uh, like, you know, like I said, he's dying. He, he, he's dying of cancer. What kind of cancer? Brain and lung. My mother had breast cancer. Oh, that, that's rough. I'm sorry. Did, did she make it? Yeah, she, she's okay now. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, it was tough, though. Oh, it's a hell of a disease. Yeah, it sure is. So why call me? Well, I, I know this, this all sounds silly. I, I know that maybe I sound ridiculous. Like, this is the scene of the movie where the guy is trying to get a hold of his long-lost son. But this is that scene, you know? I think they have those scenes in the movies because they really happen. And you gotta believe me, this is really happening. Now, I, I can give you my phone number and uh, you can call me back if, if you wanna check this with whatever you can check this with. But don't leave me hanging on this, please. Please. See, this is the scene of the movie where you help me out. <laughs>